So, the next property is the specific gravity. So, in this it is denoted by a small s and it is defined as the ratio of density of the fluid of any fluid that we are taking. So, the ratio of density of that fluid to the density of a standard fluid. So, you can say like s is equals to the ratio of the density of any fluid to the density of some standard fluid. So, this is the density upon density. So, there will be no, no units or in other words you can say this is a dimensionless dimensionless quantity all right. So, in case of liquids if we will talk about the liquids. The standard fluid is taken as water and in case of gases the standard fluid is taken as air. So, this was the specific gravity. Now, if you want to know some values then you can always know about say petrol. So, if you are given the density of petrol is uh, it's around 750 kilograms per meter cube, and the density of say diesel it's around 850 meter cube. Now, if you need to find the specific gravity of a petrol, then the way you have to find it is of petrol. This is the density of the fluid that is in fact 0, S density of standard fluid that you already know 1000 and the units were kg per meter cube, meter cube yeah, units will also cancel out this will come out to be around. So, this is how you calculate the specific gravity of any fluid similarly you can also calculate for the diesel. And sometimes the question is asked that what is the specific gravity of a water. So, for the water itself the specific gravity will be 1000 upon 1000 it will be here. So, the specific gravity for the water will be equal to The next topic for discussion is compressibility. So, this compressibility is denoted by beta and what is this? This is the change or variation of a volume or density with respect to pressure that is it. So, the definition is like the change or variation of a volume or density with respect to pressure. This is known as compressibility. So, if you talk about it let us discuss with an example. For example, you are given with a piston. There are two pistons over here. Now, if you apply a pressure P over here, P over here and if this contains air and this contain any liquid, then since it has been completely occupied by the liquid, even after the application of this P over here, the volume will not change. With the increase in pressure, the volume will not change. So, this is known as incompressible fluid. But in this case, if you will keep on applying the pressure, then 
this piston will keep on moving here 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 so the volume is changing there is the variation in volume so such variation of volume with respect to the pressure is compressibility so here we can say that this fluid is compressible all right so this was all the practical approach now let's understand the mathematical approach so what does it says mathematically the beta that is the compressibility is equal to reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity now this bulk modulus of elasticity is direct stress the ratio of direct stress to the volumetric strain and in cases of fluid this direct stress will be equal to the hydrostatic stress to volumetric strain so this hydrostatic stress negative delta p and the volumetric strain change in volume to the original volume so this you can write it like so from here you get the expression k is equals to vdp upon dp so till now we establish the relation that beta is equals to 1 upon k and we knew that k is equals to minus v dp upon db so if we place this value in this we'll get minus this will just become reciprocal db upon v dp fine now density is equals to mass upon volume and the mass will be equals to density to volume now if we differentiate this equation then we will get the mass is constant its differentiation will be zero these are the two functions so we will apply the product rule in it so it will be first function as it is the differentiation of second function plus now the differentiation of first function so you can write it like this and the second function as it is you can write it like this fine so in next time you can write it like delta v upon v equals to delta rho upon I think this is clear. So now, if you multiply dp by the denominators of this in this expression, then you will get minus dv v upon dp that is equal to this. So over here, you can write that beta this is equal to beta. So beta equals to zero upon rho d p now you can use it to verify some things like if there is no change in density then the that means the density is constant then d rho will be equal to zero and the rho will be constant beta will be zero so if the beta what to be zero then it is incompressible so you can say it like that all the fluids are said to be incompressible fluids whose density is constant with respect to pressure no let's write this it's very important this is the important point of view that the all those fluids are said to be incompress incompressible fluids whose density is constant density is constant with respect to pressure 